Hi everyone, I've been asked quite a bit about bronzers and I was asked to show my bronzing collect my bronzer collection and I was also asked about which bronzers I liked and which ones I think are worth spending money on, etc. So I'm just it's something that I have quite a lot of. <laughs> I actually didn't realise how much I had till I decided to do this video and I had a look and it was a little scary how much I own, how many of them I own. But um the good thing about that for you is that I know which ones I can recommend and which ones I certainly wouldn't recommend you spend your money on. So I have some that are like cheaper and some that are more expensive and I'm not going to talk about them all but I'm going to show you them all and then I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about which ones I love to give you a better idea so this video won't go on for all eternity. I'm going to start with drugstore ones. So um, the first one, Maybelline Pure Mineral Blush in Meteor Brown. It says it's a blush it's a it's a bronzing shade. It's not really a blush shade, so I that's a bronzer. I have Elf Glow bronzed. I have Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Sunset Strip. I have Maybelline Dream Mousse Bronzer in Golden. Prestige Baked Bronze in Saint Tropez. Prestige um, Sunflower Illuminating Bronze Powder. In sun kissed an elf contouring kit which has a bronzer in it I have an elf cool tone bronzer and okay now we're into high-end you know that I love uh, benefit hula and rather alarmingly I can't find it so um, you know I do rely on it a bit it, there's hardly any of it left, so I need to buy a new one as well. But um, yeah, I do love that. So this one is Beyond Bronze, which is by Fake Bake. And it's just the powder. Stila Convertible in Marigold. Which is these here. I have Chanel Bronze Universal. Max Sincere, which some people would use as a blush. But on someone with my colouring, that's a bronzer. And another bronzer is Blunt, which is sold as a blush as well, but again, us fair skinned ladies use it as a blonde. And the last one is one I mentioned recently in a video, it's my Guerlain uh, Terracotta Secret Gold. So, those are the ones I could put my hand, maybe more up there, deep buried in the kit. But, um, some of these I love, some of them I don't, some of them I don't recommend at all. My favourite one at the moment is actually this one here. I'm using it a lot. Uh, the Prestige, the two Prestige ones I would rely heavily on along with Benefit Hula. So these would be like my three favourites. And here are these two. Now these, although they're both by Prestige, they're both very different. This one has a shimmer to it, and this one's matte. It also smells delicious. So um, this is the one I have on at the moment and I like that it's big and that you can dust the big brush around it and then smother it all over. It's not something you would use for contouring. Well, you could, you can use for contouring, but I mean, because of the size of it, it's kind of built for, you know, I've used this on my hands and my legs and my feet or wherever, wherever I need the little dusting of bronze on occasion. And my favorite brush to use it with is the SS 150 by Six. And I swirl it all around and I just it where I need it. So I really like this. And it does smell good and it's like I think it's about 12 euro it could be less uh, but it's available everywhere kind of like worldwide which is good this one is shimmery and it's really really pretty it's all and it's a little bit softer and um, it's kind of like a peachy gold whereas this is kind of a little bit more um, you know true bronze so I love those this is like a soft bronze with a little shimmer. It's really gorgeous when you have a tan. I don't really wear it that much in winter because um, it has a bit of a, sh a shimmer to it. So it's better if you look sun-kissed and it's gorgeous. But it really is lovely. Or another one that's great for contouring is the Maybelline. Uh, this is brilliant for contouring. It's matte. And I highly recommend that if you're kind of fair or medium skinned and you want to contour, but you don't want to buy an expensive product, you don't want to buy Hoola. This does the same thing on my skin for contouring the Hoola does. Um, it doesn't look the same on if I'm, as I'm using for a bronzer, but definitely good for contouring. I haven't actually used the Bronze Universal that much. I used it once and um, I don't know. I, I, I need to play with this before I say anything more because at the moment I'm not overly impressed. 
Okay, the, the Stila one, I really like this. This is only a re recent purchase, so you saw that in one of my in, in my beauty crunch videos. And although Stila is more high-end brand, I got this for $10, which is like seven euros, so it, you can hardly call that high-end. Um, but it generally is, as in they, I bought it from a website that had them, that were, they were sold really cheap. So it comes with a highlighting shade and then a contouring kind of bronze, deep bronzing shade. These are really nice, but again, I'll be saving them more for summer when I have a bit of a tan. But I, I do recommend that if you like bronzer. Um, the e.l.f. one is good for your body. Uh, it came with a kabuki, which the bristles were too long for me. So again, I would use this. And this is handy just, you know, if you're wearing like uh, ballet pumps or something like that. And your um, the instep of your foot is like pale white in comparison to the rest of your body. That works. A treat there. That happens to me all the time, if you haven't guessed. Um... The uh, Maybelline Dream Mousse, don't love it. It's all right, it's nice. Um, it just doesn't do a lot for my skin tone. Let me show you what it look, looks like. You do get an awful lot of product. It looks a little mucky on me. It's a little bit, uh, it's kind of like terracotta e-bronze, which doesn't do anything for my complexion. You can kind of build it up though if you want, but it, I don't know, there's just, it's just something about it. Just I just don't even want to work with it. The Physician's Formula one, I don't really like as a bronzer, but it's nice in your eyes. There's frosty bits in it in some of the in some of the shades which I don't like on my cheeks. Beyond Bronze by Fake Bake I never use. Um, it's a little bit orangey for me. And the Elf Cool Bronzer is okay for contouring, but I wouldn't use it as an all-over bronzer on my skin tone. The warm one might be better, but I just haven't tried it. And the Elf one and um, this one here again for contouring, but I define it. I don't really reach for it. Uh, the MAC ones, um, if it's the middle of the day and you are very fair skinned um, and you want to use a bit of bronzer but you're terrified of looking orange or too brown or too baked, this is a good option. This is Sincere from MAC. You won't be able to see it because it's so like the same colour as my skin. But it's um, it's nice. It warms up your complexion without, without looking like you're wearing any blusher or bronzer or anything like that. It gives your face a little bit of a lift. This is great for fair skins and if you're very, very fair and you haven't found a product that is light enough to contour with without you looking, you know, without it being too extreme, Sincere might be a good option for you. Blunt is full on, full on brownness and it's very, very pigmented. It, you could, if you put this on too heavily, you will look ridiculous if you're my, if you've got my, my skin tone or lighter. Um, but with a light touch, and I definitely wouldn't use this, I use this for contouring. This is not a product I use for all over bronzing, but it could be used for as a bronzer if you have dark skin. So those are all my bronzers. My Benefit Hula, as I said, is on the missing list. If you've been thinking about buying Hula, I do recommend it. It's kind of my go-to bronzer along with the two prestiges. And then if I'm in... Um, if I'm in the mood for something uh, um, moist, I go for the steel convertible, and I'm sure I will go for the Chanel Bronze Universal, but I just haven't got around to trying it too much yet. Um, and on a very, very special occasion, I bring out Guerlain only because I have hardly any of it left, and it was my very first expensive makeup purchase, so I will never throw it out, I have to keep it. So I do use it very occasionally for its lovely mother of pearlness. So um, let me know what your favourite bronzer is. I'd be interested to know maybe what your skin tone is. Um, but these are my favourites. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.